Hey guys, Dan here. So, uh, just doing a little follow up to both the last video I did and a comment I got just now uh, regarding C mount and D mount format lenses for use on certain cameras. So, the question was you know, using D mount lenses on um, Pentax Q. Um, I just want to do a follow up on that, just uh, helping everyone who wants to look for these C-mount and D-mount lenses but are not sure quite what to choose, if, if you will. So, um, for the most part, uh, C-mount and D-mount lenses on the Pentax Q, you can pretty much go with whatever. If you're on Micro Four Thirds, and I mean I mean real Micro Four Thirds size sensor now, not like Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, because that's a bit small. That is a bit smaller. Um, for real Micro Four Thirds lenses, you've got to be a bit more careful, and I'm going to show you what to look out for now. Okay, so here, oops, guys, excuse me. Uh, right, so if I just plop the camera down here, hopefully. You can see, excuse the colour, it's a bit weird with this camera. Um, so, one of the things you want to look out for is that this is a sort of a typical uh, listing you will see for Pentax, Pentax? for C mount lenses. Because, um, yeah, D mounts, by the way, they won't work on Micro Four Thirds without cropping, just, just to let you know. I mean, certain ones you will get away with it, but not without vignetting slightly. But anyway, so. This is a typical listing for on eBay. You know, some of them you'll get, they'll be sort of just a typical zoom like this. So you know, you've got a Pentax 8 to 48 F1 C mount zoom. So you can see why these lenses are very, they have very attractive numbers attached to them. You know, I mean, 8 to 48, I mean, what's that? So 16 to um, 96 F1. That is a pretty attractive lens, that is. That would be awesome for a usual shooter. But it doesn't say anything useful on it. This one up here, though, this one... So this one would be a risk by here. This one right here, though, this one... Te this is one I can use to teach you exactly what to look out for and make sure you will make an informed decision when picking a lens. So if you look at it, it says C-mount lens, 6mm, half inch, one f1.2 cosmic car japan okay the key um num the key thing you want to see in this lens i'm just going to zoom in on it right here yeah i'm going to lift the camera so it's not so blue okay this number right here is the key on this that number is referring to the sensor's size at being half inch. Now, sensor sizes are measured in the same way that a an LCD screen or you know, just a monitor would be measured. It's from corner to corner, okay? So, half inch, that sensor is going to be this big. Not very big at all. So, if you can pair that to a micro four thirds sensor... Oh, and I've lost the cap. Okay, so you remember that. So, that's half inch. That's Micro Four Thirds. You can see half inch is about half the size of Micro Four Thirds. I'm gonna cover the sensor up now. Micro Four Thirds is double that. So typically, for a safe bet, you only want to be using lenses that say they are one inch. And you've got to be careful with this because they, it's a bit sneaky. Uh, see, some lenses, older lenses especially, especially Russian lenses, they don't measure in millimetres, they measure in inches, they do. So you'll see some lenses which are one inch set, which are one inch lenses. Those are 25 millimetre lenses, because one inch is about 25 millimetres, you know, uh, two and a half centimetres. Um, with those, you've got to be a bit careful because those ones, more often than not, those ones uh, work on more for APS-C anyway because that's what the area they're from. But with these C-mount lenses by here, the ones that say you know, like half inch, uh, one third of an inch or two thirds of an inch, they are CCTV lenses. They are meant for uh, cameras that already have very small sensors, similar to the Pentax Q size. Now, not all of those 
lenses are going to be are going to have this information on them. Case in point, I bought two lenses that I thought would work for my Micro Four Thirds cameras, and they vignette a lot. Yeah, um, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. So, just to reiterate, reiterate, if you're looking for C Monk lenses. Look out for if it says something about you know one third of an inch or one inch. Typically not one inch because normally the, that is referring to the actual focal length and it's using an it's using the imperial measurement system for the focal length. Um, but for C mounts uh, that are mm, for C mounts that show it where it's like two thirds of an inch, half inch, one third of an inch, those are the ones you need to. If it says any of those. Typically, I'd avoid it. With regards to, let's say, the Black Magic Pocket, I'd say you can probably get away with a two thirds of an inch uh, one. Not every time, though. It's not guaranteed. I'd say probably a Prime. Yes, this works on my um, Black Magic Pocket. Fine. So, and I expect this is like a two thirds of an inch one, but. Uh, zooms, primes you can probably get away with, like I said, but zooms, yeah, it's, it's running a risk because with the focal length changing, as you zoom, as you go through the zoom range, uh, the image circle tends to go, it tends to go like that. Typically around the middle, it, it does it for this one. You know, so, so if you go 2.5, it doesn't really vignette that much. You go up to like 30, it starts to vignette heavily, and then when you go to 75, the vignette goes away. I just wanted to make this video just to kind of reiterate, um, just to pre-answer some questions that people may have towards C-mount and D-mount lenses, okay? So uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video.